Hey everyone, welcome to Figure Fantasy. So today we'll be covering a complete comprehensive currency guide for all of you from beginner up to advanced. Some of you guys might have missed something. So this is a video for everyone. Okay, so I won't be covering in this video um, event currencies, probably just a few because we have an event and it's part of the store. And also I might have missed something in this guide. So please just uh, put them down in the comment section so that everybody might be informed and I may also be reminded. So to start off guys, our first currency is going to be your lucky coin. Your lucky coin is going to be used in a lot of upgrading of figures, some of them the store, but this is your general currency. It's applied everywhere. So just the balance spending it. Um, initially for a beginner, use it for upgrades, enhancement. But again, um, you can use it. It's a very flexible and very um, easy, easy to obtain uh, currency. So every currency that i'll almost every currency that i'll be discussing has it obtained from just click on that and it will reveal the content where you can farm these okay so there goes our lucky coin next up is our diamonds so diamonds eh, are going to be used in your summons all of your summons including collab summons special banners you name it the only exception for i think that you can use diamonds would be fishbone but um, that's very little percent. That's probably two to five percent of you know of uh, most of the time you're gonna use it. But I would highly dis discourage people to use um, diamonds uh, to buy fishbone at the start, especially your beginning. Once you're advanced and you have a lot of stock for diamonds, probably yes. But diamonds are ultimately or gems are ultimately used for summons only. Okay. So we have next is your fishbone. As I mentioned earlier, do not purchase this this baby for uh, this baby with diamonds. Fishbones are going to be used in your sweeps for sacred tours, especially if you're a beginner. Um, you're gonna be it's gonna be valuable here. This will uh, this will really give you materials for. Um, design letter and the next one would be your big three the big three you will be farming using sweeps at 34 mostly because you would want these pink um, equipments pink equipments are the way to go for every figure that you have so you have to mine these and use sweeps here so you'll be also be using sweeps actually when you're going to be getting reinforcement material but as a beginner you're gonna be prioritizing to reach level 34 and mining these with your fish bones okay so again um as i mentioned earlier reinforcement equipment or material is going to be mined also here so 35 36 and going down so the amount just increases and um, the, the the rarity actually is also increased okay so where can you mine these um you can mine uh them in your counter strike final battle final counter strike so you can use them here okay it's, it's currently locked so this one also uses uh fish bones but this is more for your advanced players so this currency here this will be used these currencies the figurines pavilion collection will be used here there are a lot guys there is actually a lot of uh, uh here so figuring pavilion is also increasing of stats for all of your figures, but this is for more advanced. So again, I just want to recap for fish bones, sweep for sacred tour for beginners, design letter. You'll need that for all of your figures. The next would be big three, which is equipment, the pink ones. And the third one is in final counter strike, which will fuel your uh, private figure in pavilion for additional stats and bonuses okay next there are a lot guys there are really a lot 
So, we're gonna be going to summons. Okay, your limited blind boxes can be obtained f here. Okay, again, click on the obtain from. These are actually other summon currency. Um, this is actually used for some of the summon banners. Usually for 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 night nine and um, what do you call this? And uh, if you're talking about brand exclusives, they're not being used there, so they can only be used in limited rate up, and uh, that's it, limited rate up. So brand exclusive, you're gonna be using a different currency for that. Okay, so what else? Okay, going to your fully wish, which is this one. Your fully wish, do not use them here. Okay, I repeat, do not use your fully wish in the brand exclusive banner. You only use your fully wish in collab um, collab events, especially for these. Because right now in this event, this is the only you know, this is the only way you could get special very special characters or figures that usually require payment but if you save hard enough you could actually get you could even get uh, get her for free um so again fully wish is a very very important currency to save for please do because again free to play will really benefit if you use if you use it only if you use your fully wish only for collab events okay next is going to be your clover sticker i'm gonna be more advanced here but i'll go back here later so the stickers are here so your stickers are going to be used in figure upgrades where's the recycle store Okay, so, sorry. What I meant was, um, you can get your stickers here. So, stickers will be used in a while. I'll, I'll go back to the previous store that I was in. Okay, so next is going to be your Clover sticker. So, your Clover sticker, these guys are usually used in increasing figurines XP. So, that is it. Once you are, you won't, once you won't use them anymore because you have five figures who are already at 220, you're going to be using them here, okay, in the recycle store. Also for the stamp, so the stamp is also used for figure development, but once again you have five 220 figures, then you will use them here as well. We will go through the store later on where to purchase them. These are just the currencies that I'm running through aside from the store. So reinforcement materials. Gonna go to... Some of you guys are might, uh, might be scratching your heads because uh, you don't know what reinforcement material is. So your reinforcement material is this one. So these are your reinforcement materials. They can be, you know, they can be mined in the big three, as I mentioned earlier. Um, also, these are only available. You can use reinforcement materials in only in pink. So re a pink can be reinforced twice. The plain pink ones here you can reinforce. As you can see, it turns into stripe. The next one is going to be the stripe, so you can reinforce it to red. So reinforcement materials are very important. You can get them in the big three. So again, very, very important that you open those stages up. Okay, so equipment. By the way, guys, um, the equipment that is colored, um, the, purple in the, the purple and yellow... The yellow those are the currencies that you can use to like so for example if you enhance equipment you usually use these but there are equipment that are yellow and purple and yellow you can use them also as enhancement equipment let me just um, let me just uh, do some do some sweeps here 
so that you can this one the purple and yellow you can use actually as enhancement materials so let's go back there and have a sample this is quite a bit okay okay so for this one this is your regular enhancement material and you can actually use the purple and purple and yellow border and the yellow border as enhancement materials do not sell them it's really really hard to find enhancement materials that are these types so even old old equipment you can actually um, use them as enhancement material so if you are if you most of your figures are at pink already you can you can actually add these the orange and yellow border but for now keep them i'm actually keeping a bunch so let's just do enhancement although it's a small bit of experience going into your your equipment but at least you have more enhancement materials to include for your pink gear or your striped pink gear okay so duplicate figures let's go to if you have usually if your figures are at five diamonds you would have duplicates so what do you do with duplicates you can use duplicates to recycle as paint so you can you can recycle them they are not here they are here paint coat conversion so i have duplicates of vazaru and Zarola, so i could actually recycle one of them confirm and they would be converted into the big three paint which you can use to paint your figures so don't forget those as well so just want to coat uh hatsune miko to give her plus five and plus five there you go so that is for your duplicate figures and lastly again i just want to cover this um some of you guys missed probably this so your design letter is part of your sacred tour so your design letter your the materials that you're going to get here like for example let's just do this because um if this is zero let's say for example these materials you can get these in sacred tour so these are totally mineable as long as you have opened them. So that's just a sample. Just want to give you guys a sample. Okay. So those are the other currencies outside of the store. Um, some of them are in the store actually. But uh, we're going to be focusing more on currencies for the store. Okay. So starting with this part, this is going to be store related currencies. Take note, do not refresh store items because it's 100 diamonds. Make sure that you don't really, really refresh. And um, starting with the fully store, the best purchases here are these three down below. So advanced care body. These are the best that you can get with gold. Do not usually spend diamonds here for your purchases and uh, for your otaku store your otaku store is the best purchase would be your ultra blind piece using your uh, otaku heart again just click the obtain from where you can you know get them so these are the best save for them and only purchase these three you you have actually um a lot available based on my experience i cannot even you know um i cannot even get all three in one month depends depends i think i had one time i got three in one month but this is um refreshed weekly so again this will really help you in building up your ultra blind uh, rarity of figures so this is 60 so this is random again this will help you bolster or level up your existing figures okay for board game store you only have two currencies here. You have lucky dice and holy dice. So it really depends up to you on who you should invest on. But I would suggest um, invest it on figures that you want to level up with copies so that you won't spread all your resources with you know multiple figures. So again, 
choose the best from the figures that you want to level up or get copies of and you know just choose what you want from these so you have here um uh the ones that are lucky dice th these ones and on top you have your holy dice so feel free to to select but focus it on one or two figures okay so for our club store our club store we have here this is your friendship coin this is obtained from from your club of course so for your friendship coin the best here is your eternal badge card which i will be using now these are also good at nine thousand, uh but focus more on these three this is also good but again this has limited options uh, and also limited applications but for these you yeah, the, the yellow ones we usually use those so again you can choose whichever you want to focus on for me i will go with this one because i will be needing an internal phantom badge for i think i need one so <laughs> i'm gonna buy this okay so then when once it's in your so you can select you're gonna select this one the phantom badge select then confirm i am going to use this in Roku. so it's gonna be breaking through this badge there you go then spend one badge to level it up there you go so you can level it up further so that is it for your friendship coin so going back we have another currency which is commemorative coin so a commemorative coin okay sorry that is what i bought for the eternal badge so for your friendship coin preferably spend them in the eternal badge piece i forgot okay and also these are good buys i uh, just have to select which ones uh, the best buys here are the ultimate uh end time ultimate badge for your friendship coin okay so commemorative coins done honor store for the honor store the best buys here for me would be your fully wish primarily then your fully anniversary badge because this can also level up or break through your badges any badge can you know can, can be uh, broken through by the fully ba fully anniversary badge especially if it's a uh, it's an exclusive badge you will need this definitely to break through that specific badge okay and the last is a recycle store for the f official merch the recycle store will open once you have five figures upgraded to 220 yourself so you will unlock this because you won't be needing much of your stamp and your clover sticker to level up your figures so you will spend them here so ideally your clover sticker you spend them in one two and this one this one is the first buy this only it can only be bought once and also i think that's it one two are your monthly so you save for these two every month your stamps you can use them for the eternal badge piece you can also use them this is actually one time as well but your monthly buys here would be your eternal badge piece here the 50 and the 100 so that's it okay so that is for your recycle store i won't cover one two three because these involve purchasing with real money uh for special uh this is going to be your skin coin so just click here on where to obtain it but again feel free to buy any of these that you are you, know, that you want to buy but take note they usually release some good fig uh, figure skins here so save up at least 300 um before you purchase so that once any of you know the good ones drop you can buy them anytime here let's go to the most store this is quite 
a long video already so i'll keep this very short so okay so we're here at the sticker store okay so for collab snow a and night nine you use the stickers here this one the sticker you only use this for collab figures like for example this one this one is for atsuni miko and you only use it for Snow A and Night 9. Do not use it for your basic figures, which are easy to get. So again, collab and only Snow A and Night 9 figures. Um, unless you really need them. Okay. So off to... Don't all, do not actually purchase it here as well. So you can actually purchase your badges. If you could remember, I'll just uh, go back. Badges, preferably you get it here. Okay? In your club store. So going back to most store. We're done with the sticker store. Mar Mar marble store. Um, these are good. These are green marbles. You get these uh, primarily... You can also buy these if you have a lot of green marbles, actually. But prefer pre preferably you go for these two first. Adornments you go for um, the um, the ones that, that are down here. So they are figure specific and they're not random. As for this ones, the ones on top, these are random. So again. The priority is down here with with the figure the the exclusive for for a specific figure and actually you, ha you the next ones would be either spring or summer they might be releasing additional boxes here spring summer winter or fall those are i think um your priority for marble store sunny store um these ones the prototype intelligence image intelligence these can be used as advanced um, level up materials. I'm going to show you where they are being used. Um, let's say it's here. Prototype file. So you have prototype intelligence, design manual, and dynamic image. So you're going to use it here. Once you unlock some of them. Let's see unlocked one. So there's also a stat bonus for that one. So let's go back to the store. I'm just quickening this, guys, because I know this has been a long video. I told you this was going to be comprehensive. And um, again, going back, souvenir store. These are your um, golden marbles. So these are hard to get skins. Sunny store, again, these two. Uh, Fully Wish is also good here. Uh, and also for the sticker here, sold out. Those are the things that you should buy here. Fashion wardrobe, these are the skins. So, you know, spend at your own pleasure. Event store. For every, for every event, there's usually an event store. So whatever the currency is, you also go, you always go for these ones. For your summons and um, the bandage bear is usually used for the bingo. Um, it, it could be a different version in another bingo, but uh, again, for the bingo, this is a bingo uh, currency. The next one would be skin coin. The next one would be fully deluxe box and, you know, the rest, it depends upon you. And for the collab store, if you're, you know, for the collab, preferably you go with ultra figure card, personal brand card, Mikoto Misaka Ultra Figurine Card. This is just a limited time for this event. And depending on how how far you've unlocked, then you could get... you If you can't unlock, for example, 300, 400, and 600, then you can get those pieces, definitely. So, again, for the store, these are the top four that you get uh, for the store. Preferably Mikoto Misaka because, again, that's a, another copy of her. So... That is our very long and comprehensive currency, guys. So I hope I was able to help you guys in uh, determining where to spend your currency. Um, perhaps you missed some of the currencies, but if you're still here, guys, please subscribe to my channel. <coughs> Sorry. Almost, I think, 80, only 80% have subscribed so far of all my viewers. So... 
your subscription really helps. And take care, stay safe. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.